Why are we so different to all other species on Earth? How did our ancient ancestors pave the way to such complicated ways of life without even knowing? We don't have the physical strength of a lion or the speed of a cheetah, yet we have ridden above them on the food chain. What made the human brain and the body unbounded? The Old Divide Gorge is home to the fossils of some of the earliest species of man, Homo habilis, or handyman. After the climates got warmer, dense rainforests inhabited by the tree-dwelling primates became sparse patches of trees, and our ancestors must venture in pursuit of food on foot. Believed to have roamed Earth, mostly solitary scavengers around three million years ago, Homo habilis was the first to use tools, utilising his sharp edges of stone to scrape meat off the bone, crack them open and eat the marrow. In our ancestors' survival, every calorie counts, as we think more carefully about how we can get said calories. 1.8 million years ago, we've evolved to communicate to other members of the species using sounds, facial expressions, and we become hunters. Homo erectus runs efficiently on two legs, utilising sweat and strong leg muscles to chase prey for long periods of time. And as our tools become more advanced, we have no issues killing larger prey. How did we become so smart? Fire was a huge factor in shaping the early man's free-for-all into civilised and social groups. It's unclear how hominids harnessed and learned how to make fire, but they are believed to have carried existing, naturally occurring fire into their groups, where they could gather round it, as it provided warmth, safety for their families. One of the biggest impacts of fire in our evolutionary change was the ability to cook food. In their families, Homo erectus could gather around fires, cook meat, using less energy to chew. Releasing the jaw from its tight grip and allowing the brain to grow. Cook meat also provided us with more nutrients, as well as killing germs in previously raw meat, saving the body's energy reserves from fighting disease. It is in Homo erectus where we see the groundworks of our social interactions as hominids. With more complex social dynamics, communications, as northern ice glaciers melt, we migrate to different parts of the world and a new species of man emerges to the top. Mankind has risen in their numbers, spread all over the globe and become much smarter. Homo sapiens lived nomadic lifestyles, where we would move with the seasons in pursuit of food and useful resources. With Earth becoming warmer every year, these travellers began settling down in larger communities and building. We enter a new age, the Neolithic era. 9,600 to 3,300 BC, which can be split into two categories, distinguished by making a pottery around 6,500 BC. It is in Göbekli Tepe where anthropologists can see human organisation and construction like never before. Estimated to have built around 9,500 BC, this is the first religious superstitious construction to date, showing mankind's larger-than-life thought process and a need to build and expand. The next step for mankind will be farming, and it is in Egypt where the first areas of agriculture were used. We discovered that we could grow crops for tameable animals to eat. We should feed them said animals, we could eat the said animals. Suddenly the need to travel in pursuit of prey became pointless. And as these areas of community, agriculture and construction grew and grew, we can piece together what made humans and the body unbounded.